Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the doll armoire with three hangers. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the parts included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged pieces, please contact Badger Basket as shown in the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For step one, you will need part A, the top panel, part G, the right side, and two of the M screws. So for this step, what we're going to be doing is putting on this right side panel onto the top. Now when looking at the panel, you're going to see that there's one side that has two holes compared to the other that has three. You're going to want to take the side that has the two holes and line it up to the two holes here on the edge. When you do line it up, you'll see that this groove here will align with this groove here on the top panel. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this side panel up along the side here so that these two holes will match up. Then you're going to take a screw from each side and screw in both into these holes. So for this demonstration I am going to be using a drill um, just to make this go a little bit faster. If you choose to use a drill, please make sure you have the torque setting set on low so that you don't strip any of the pieces. Otherwise, feel free to use a hand Phillips screwdriver. For step two, you need part F, the bottom. You need one M screw, part H, the dowel, and part I, the back. For this step, what we're going to be doing first is putting on the bottom. When you look at the bottom, you're going to see that same groove that needs to align with this groove here already in place. This bottom panel has a peg on one side, or a dowel, and a hole on the other. What we're going to do is we're going to put the peg or the dowel into one hole here. This other hole is where we're going to screw a bolt from the other side to hold it into place. So it's just going to come out like so. And again, remember, this groove needs to line up with this groove going down here. So I'm going to put this into place like so, and I'm going to screw from the other side so that this bottom is held into place. The next what you'll do is you'll tip it up on its side like so, so that we can see this whole groove aligning. This is where we're going to be putting this back panel into. This panel is going to slide right down into that groove on both sides here. And we're going to push it all the way down, making sure it gets into this groove in the bottom. Then last, you're just going to put this dowel into this larger hole on this side here, like so. For step three, you need three of the M screws and part J, the left side. So next, we're going to be putting on the left side. The left side is going to have a large hole, which is where the dowel is going to go into. And then you're going to see that same groove that needs to go onto this back here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that dowel to insert into this large hole. Make sure you push this side down far enough so that this back here goes into this groove. Then what you're going to do is screw into these holes here. You've got the three holes that we need to screw, in, screw into, and then this dowel will insert into this one. So make sure that this dowel also gets into this hole. So first, well, get this dowel into here. And then we're going to align all of these holes up, and then we'll screw into all three. So let's get this screwed down into place. For step four, you will need part D, the fox drawer, four of the L screws, four of the E knobs, four of the M screws, four of the N metal peg hinges. You will need part B and part C, which are the left and right doors. So first for this step, what I'm going to be doing is putting on the knobs onto all four of the locations. For each of the doors, you're going to have one side where you're going to see the nice backing here. The knob is going to go on this side. On the side that is unfinished um, is where the screw is going to be coming through from that side. So we're going to screw through this way into the knob on this side on both doors. Then when looking at the drawer here, you're going to see these two holes here. 
This is where the knob is going to be coming out from. So we're going to screw from this side through to get through to those knobs. So let's get all four of these knobs screwed into place. So next what we're going to be doing is putting these doors and this drawer onto the armoire. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn this upside down so that it makes it a little bit easier to put these doors into place. We're going to be putting these metal hinges, these metal pegs, into the outermost holes here on this top piece. So I'm just going to put these into place and then we're going to be putting these doors on them. Now when looking at the doors, you will see a, a Velcro in one of the corners. That Velcro needs to align with this Velcro here. So this one, for example, is going to be like this, so when it opens, this Velcro will then shut and stick to this Velcro piece here. So I'm going to put this hole on the end here into that metal peg. and doing the same with the other door. Again, looking for that Velcro piece, putting the door onto that metal hinge, just like that. Next, what I'm gonna be doing is putting the other two metal hinges on the other side of the door in these two corners here. Now, when looking at the drawer, you're gonna see that there's these two holes here on the bottom. That's where these metal hinges need to go into. So we're going to take this over the two doors like so, making sure that those metal hinges are into each of those holes. Then we're going to slide it back into place as far as it can go and stop right there because there's going to be four screws that need to go in to hold this drawer into place. So I'm going to kind of put these in here so that it holds this piece and then we'll get all four screwed in. And the last thing to do is to open up these doors and put the doll hangers into place. And that concludes the assembly of the doll armoire with three hangers. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy!